All right, moving on from there, the Texas Longhorns. Steve Sarkeesian in his first year um, down in Austin. You know, I, I'm not sure what to make of this. Win total sits at eight. They went seven and three last year, eight and five the year before under Tom Herman. I don't think that the wins and losses were the reason Tom Herman was let go. But, uh, but you know, we'll see. Whatever. Uh, with that said, uh, quarterback battle, like last year's backup Casey Thompson, uh, it's either him or it's Hudson Card, one or the other. Uh, I think Card is is who Sark would like to win the job because I think he does the things that fit better in Sark's offense. But Casey Thompson kind of showed out in that bowl game last year. He's got the experience, so not not a ton of it, but he's actually been on the field. So um, they got eight starters back on offense that averaged 475 yards per game. Like, they got studs. They got talent all over the field. Defense uh, had experience last year. Uh, they allowed 28.5 points per game. It's not awesome, but it's pretty good. You know, not whatever. Uh, seven starters back. Defense line is uh, strong. Depth in the back seven is a problem. Schedule, kind of rough for a first-year coach, especially when you're starting out with Louisiana at Arkansas, Rice, and then, you know, your road games at TCU, at Iowa State, at West Virginia, and, and your win total is eight. Like, I wanted to find a reason to to go over here, but I can't. So I'm, I'm going to go under the eight. I think it's more likely this team goes seven and five than they do nine and three. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree with everything you just said. I, I think they're non-con starting out. Losing in Arkansas, they can absolutely go one and one in that. Yeah. There's a world where they could lose both. That would shock the hell out of me. Oh, that, same here. That would, that would just completely shock me. There's a world where they win both. That would shock me as well. Um, I I think this team is more to the middle of the pack in this conference than they are to the top of the pack in this conference. I think you're right. No, I mean, that could absolutely change, like, going into – Next season. Yes. But, but we're not doing next season right yeah, now. Yeah, we're not doing next season. So, with that said, uh, we'll move off of them. Go- Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.